Uh, thank you very much for coming. This is uh, Shinock 6. Uh, my name is Tom Kaspersky. I'm one of the uh, organizers of Shinock and uh, also on the program committee. So uh, one of the questions we get um, is how do you pronounce this? Uh, it's, 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 it's a question that we kind of get a lot. So it's, sorry. it's not like a chai nog, like a chai tea or anything like that. And uh, also, it's not like the uh, China OG, which is an actual uh, wrapper out there, or uh, Chino G. Um, it's more of a Chai Tom. So uh, when we started off doing this, uh, actually, if you Googled uh, China, these two wrappers would be the only thing you would see. <laughs> so um, good thing we were able to change that. So a little bit on the background. Uh, we started around 2013, uh, just kind of as a, as a meetup three times a year. In 2015, we moved into uh, more of an annual event. So uh, this is what we're doing. This is our second time doing the annual event. Uh, overall, it's our sixth event. Uh, and um, this was created by network engineers, network architects, uh, to kind of establish this community within Chicago and the Midwest. Uh, there was a, we felt like there was a need for something like that and uh, kind of get everyone to meet physically instead of just virtually all the time. Um, this year, we received an overwhelming response to our core for presentation, so we're really um, uh, thankful and grateful for all that, and uh, I want to thank everyone who, who applied. A um, couple things on, more on the background. So our, our event and organization is a vendor-neutral conference, so we're not um, trying to sell you anything. All the presentations are based on technology, techniques, and other things and not uh, product-based, so we emphasize that strictly with, um, with all the speakers by even saying to remove logos and things like that. Um, but um, one of the things that we noticed is that there's this need for regional independent organizations. Uh, there are conferences, conferences out there that um, are either national or continental. Uh, they travel all over the, the country and in different states, but there really isn't that many um, that many of them that are just kind of regional, staying in the same spot. Um, and there's a lot of engineers and people within the industry that um, are not able to travel as often, um, either for finances or for, uh, um, for work-related reasons. So that's kind of why we started. Um, we're pretty happy to see that our group, Shinog, um, directly inspired some other groups, uh, Boston Nog, Indianapolis Nog, and New York Nog. So all these are kind of starting off. They're starting off as meetups, uh, smaller events, and hopefully they can grow as well um, to something as, uh, as big as this. Uh, last year, I believe we had about 130 people. This year, we are at 160 or so. So every year, we keep on growing and getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I want to thank all the speakers uh, for coming. A lot of them, uh, most of them actually had to travel from out of state. So we're really uh, grateful um, that they're, they're able to come schedule, some of the logistics here. Uh, we'll start with uh, our first session a little bit late, um, and then we'll have, uh, three, we'll have three breaks altogether, one at 10, at one and uh, 3.45. Uh, we're also gonna have lunch, so lunch will be served upstairs in the lobby. Uh, outside at five o'clock, just outside of this room, we're gonna have the, uh, the dinner, social, and the giveaways, and I'll talk about those a little bit later. Uh, we also have uh, meeting rooms available, Ohio 1 and 2, just over there, in case you wanted to uh, sit down with someone and, and kind of talk uh, privately outside of this room. So that's there. Um, I want to thank the program committee. So Brian, McGann and Jason uh, Gooley, they work really hard on getting all the speakers. Jason, if you don't mind standing up. Brian's not here, so. Um, some more stuff, uh, mobile app, if you download it, it has uh, our agenda, speaker information, presentation slides, Wi-Fi access, which I'm sure most, most of you already have, uh, information on our previous events, so if you want to check out what our previous sessions were, and uh, also our YouTube channel to see videos of those, uh, any sponsored de details, check-ins, and links to the survey. Uh, the t-shirts, so, I want to thank uh, Jeff from Service Central for designing the t-shirt. This is the second year he designed our t-shirt, and they look great. Um, in case you're not aware of what it is, if you're out of town, that is the, the map of the CTA train map that kind of interconnects the city. So thank you for that. Uh, I want to quickly mention our sponsors. So we're very grateful for their support um, of this community. Uh, 
the sponsorship kind of allows us to keep the pricing low and, 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 and um, obviously have uh, conferences like this. Um, so if you see, if you see anyone uh, you know, with a little tag that's a sponsor here, just you know, make sure to um, thank him for, for sponsoring this and supporting this. Um, uh, so this year we have uh, Service Central as our diamond sponsor. This is the third time they're sponsoring us. Um, so we're very thankful. And then uh, for a gold sponsor, we have uh, Radware, Juniper, and Kenthic. Um, Radware and Kenthic is the first time, and Juniper is the second time sponsoring us. So thank you, guys. Um, also, we have uh, a couple other sponsors. Nexum, is, this is our second time sponsoring us, and Megaport the first time. Um, AIM6 is the uh, third time, and Cisco and uh, 1547 is, is the uh, first time as well. So uh, if you if you think this is this conference is uh, valuable, um, if you think that um, you know someone or the company work for would would uh, benefit from sponsoring us, um, then please uh, please let us know. Get in touch with with one of the organizers. I also want to uh, thank uh, Tracy and Kenny. Um, probably seen them outside for the event management. They did a lot of work, kind of with the logistics and management of the event, uh, and then also Amy and the uh, I, uh, PMR for all of the PR work. I probably received some of the emails from them. So thank you very much for that. Survey and prizes. So uh, every time we do this event, we, uh, we do a survey. And um, we've learned a lot from them, um, kind of how to steer uh, the direction of the conferences and the organization, what kind of content people are interested in. And um, you know, we truly appreciate your, your honest feedback. Um, obviously, not everyone is uh, is very excited to fill out a survey, so we have something to motivate you. And um, some of the sponsors are giving out prizes. So the way it works is basically if you fill out the survey, um, you can enter yourself into winning a prizes. We have a Apple Watch from Kentnik, a $100 gift card from Radware. Juniper has a backpack and um, headphones, and Nexum has Logitech mobile wireless speakers. Um, so uh, let's see. The, we'll do a random drawing at 6.45. And uh, the way this works is you fill out the survey, and then at the bottom there's a question that asks you if you'd like to enter into the survey, into the raffle, uh, fill in your contact information. That is the only time uh, we would share the contact information with any other sponsors. We kind of uh, respect your privacy and don't share, um, share that information, but this is the only time that these uh, raffle um, sponsors would uh, receive that. So, and the drawing's at 6.45. And um, please be there to receive it. A couple other, couple other announcements. Um, NANAG 60, uh, 67 is coming to Chicago June 13 and 15. If you haven't been to a NANAG event, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting event, uh, three day, three day event. Um, about 1,000 people go to it. Um, this is the second time it's hosted in Chicago. Um, I think it's been 13 years since they hosted it here. So it's definitely um, worthwhile to, to attend. Same kind of. Uh, Concept obviously, Shanag is, is based based on Nanog um, concept and organization. Another quick uh, announcement: Internet Two is having their global uh, summit that's hosted in Chicago next week, May 15 and to 18. Uh, for those of you not aware, with Internet Two, it's more of a research-based organization. Um, and now, um, I would like to introduce Jordan Lowe's. He is the president and CEO of Server Central uh, to say a couple uh, opening remarks. Good morning, everybody. Um, everyone's looking like they're starting to wake up. I'm so, you know, I'm really happy this is, is in Chicago. As Tom mentioned, there was, you know, the last Nanog here was 13 years ago. Um, you know, we sponsored that Nanog, and it was really exciting. It was a joint errand meeting, actually. Um, you know, that really got a lot of things started here. And it's really good. You know, Service Central is based here in Chicago. We started 16 years ago now. And, you know, I see a lot of familiar faces. It's really great to kind of get all the networking people together in Chicago. And, you know, the last time there was a big meeting was Aaron back in 2013. It was actually where I met Tom uh, one of the first times, and we were talking a little bit about this conference and if we could sponsor it. And I said, you know, absolutely. You know, we'd love to help, you know, everybody get together and talk about networking stuff, and it's so exciting. So, I mean, this, this, is, this conference this time is excellent. I mean, Tom mentioned, you know, I don't think he put as much gravity that, you know, they got over 30 submissions. That's enough, you know, talks for two or three days. Sorry. Um, and uh, so, you know, 
you know, he, they really do appreciate. There's a lot of people that weren't able to, uh, you know, get their talk in, but I don't think we're ready for a three-day conference just yet. But you know, so that's really great to see, uh, you know, see that much traction. Um, so you know, again, thanks, you know, Tom, Brian, uh, you know, Jason for putting this together. It's really great. Um, you know, it's a really cool time in networking right now. Everybody, I mean, you guys all know this, but the innovation happening right now is is really cool. You know, everything from your cell phone, you know, getting being able to get like 100 megabit downloads on your cell phone to, you know, I don't know if you have there's a lot of optical guys here, but you know, you're, we're doing 250 gigs plus, you know, in a single channel. Um, you know, where five years ago it was, you know, mostly just 10 gig, and you know, that's really driving the ability for us to push packets and all of us to kind of have fun at work and be able to do crazy stuff. I mean, you know, we're doing 10 gig copper in the racks now. We're you know, I don't know if you guys have seen, there's automated uh, patch panels now. This is something to look into. They have patch panels that kind of actually plug in the cables themselves, a robotic, robotic patch panel. So when that's happening, it's kind of scary to me, and, uh, but it's kind of crazy. So it's fun to watch you know, these giant, you know, us to learn about these big scale networks and bringing them down into the data center. Um, you know, it's fun for everyone at Server Central to deploy you know, these networks and play with all the new gear and watch all the new fun things happen, like eVPN starting to become popular and stable and, and it's great. So I'm excited to be here today. Um, I'm excited to learn a couple things today. So that's all I got, guys. I think, uh, Tom, if you want me to introduce, Russ is coming up, I think, with some BGP security.